Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Ooh. Yep. Ladies and the gentlemen, this is going to be one of those episodes where you can simply sit back, relax, have a nice cup of coffee, and enjoy some ridiculous stuff happening in this game. We all love to hate. We all love and hate at the same time. World of Tanks, Artillery, Le FH-18B2. One of the most overpowered vehicles in this game, tier by tier, if not the most overpowered. Overall, I mean, compared to the any vehicle class in this game, because it definitely has to be the most overpowered artillery, and tier by tier, for sure. So what you are about to see in today's episode is uh, this artillery unit. Single artillery unit is going to stand alone versus many enemy tanks. As you have already seen from the title, from the thumbnail, I guess. Uh, so, a couple days ago, I was simply cruising around on my replay site, uh, deskgames.watrecord.com, to see what you guys have been uploading. Maybe something ridiculous, uh, sometimes, yeah, it is. Uh, sometimes uh, there are many hidden gems in the middle of all the replays. So, I was scrolling, looking at different battles, and my eye stopped on this replay. For many reasons, actually. For the start, how often do you see one artillery unit standing against the many enemy tanks alone? Not too often, I would say. Secondly, I haven't featured any artillery action on my channel for a very long time, so let me remind you that this class actually exists in this game, because we are not seeing enough artilleries in nowadays World of Tanks. Nope, we are not seeing any of them. The title of this replay was already intriguing, but it was actually a bit wrong. The title was 1 vs 5. I guess uh, our hero in this battle, who is CZA77, didn't notice one thing, which I'm going to point out fairly soon. My video title is actually 100% accurate and correct. <laughs> okay. So what you have over here is one really aggressive two-tier battle. We have tier 6 vehicles, we have tier 5 vehicles, a triple artillery action, and all that jazz. So this is almost your standard uh, mid-tier battle, right? In nowadays world of tanks, at least. As you can see, we have been in action for exactly 3 minutes, and it is already 6 to 8. We have lost 8 vehicles, enemy team has lost 6 vehicles. We have many aggressive scouts uh, over here in this matchmaking, medium tanks, wheeled vehicles, stuff like that. This matchmaking is all over the place. Our heroes team already has to pull back, they have to take a bit more defensive approach to this battle. Yeah, they are outnumbered and uh, AMX 12T is in the base, Poodle is in the base, T37 is also in the base. Poodle in this type of matchmaking is actually a really, really strong tank. It has some armor, it has uh, some damage, and uh, yeah, it can easily rip all those tier 5s and tier 6s into pieces with its penetration. Ooh, it seems like a hero was spotted and the D37 was taken out by Hellcat. As long as the Hellcat, as long as we can keep that Hellcat alive, this uh, match is still winnable, I would say. But the score is still 8 to 10. We are still losing this battle. Ooh, Boodle has been spotted. Only 26 HP left. One more shot needed from any of those guys. Still alive. And maybe this battle is a bit easier. There is AMD 178B, who just knocked out our Hellcat, the most important ally who was still left in this battle. 54 HP left. All the enemy tanks are kinda low ish on lowish HP. That shot was a miss, but you can see the reloads speed of this artillery, it is faster than I can count all those seconds. This artillery unit is just, I don't know why it still exists in this game, but now, after they have sold so many of it already, they are never going to remove it. And by the way, if I'm not mistaken, this artillery piece should have the best view range in this battle as well. AMD, ah, yet another miss. But don't worry, we are going to be reloaded in a moment. Over here, <laughs> this is actually quite funny, because it really did remind me those old days when I just started playing this game seven plus years ago, when I didn't know that artillerists have that uh, World War II satellite uh, simulator view, and I was using all those artilleries like that, in the shotgun mode, because I didn't know about that second view. 
I believe most of you guys who started playing this game, who tested out artilleries in lower tiers, um, who didn't know about that view, played the artillery in the same way. Come on, just admit it guys, you did the same thing, I cannot be the only one, I do not think so. But now you can see the score is officially 1 versus 5. The replay was titled 1 versus 5, but let's go back. Let's rewind into this situation where he just killed that IKV-103 and let's pause it right here. Just before the shell landed, killing that IKV-103, can you see what the score is? Just a split, literally one frame in my editing software, one frame before knocking out that IKV-103. This battle was officially 1 versus 6. I am not making this up, you can see it yourself, look at the score. For a split second, for literally one frame, this battle was officially 1 versus 6. And we have to be accurate about those numbers, because uh, this is serious business over here. Uh, replays, uh, YouTubing, this is serious business, we have to be 100% accurate. So, see, ZA. 77, sorry to tell you, but your title was incorrect. You actually did a bit more work. And goodbye, second IKV 103. From 1 vs 6 down to 1 vs 4, and here is AMD 178D. So this battle now is one artillery with 32 HP. Versus four tanks, three artilleries and one wheeled vehicle. How can this battle be a victory? I do not know, 17 HP left, there are 3 artilleries left on the enemy side and CZA-77 is walking away with 16 more HP than he needs. <sighs> and now, this battle should be in the bag actually, because if you pay attention on the minimap, you can see the view range. View range is maxed out. This artillery is so broken, I am pretty sure this tier 5 artillery has the best freaking view range in this tier 6 battle. This is why, this is one of the reasons why it is so freaking broken, stupid and overpowered. Piece of a machinery in this game. And now all he has to do, he has to sit out in the open. He can give no dams whatsoever. There is M41 HMC. I am not even sure if um, he's able to spot, if any of those guys are able to spot him. No, you can see, they do not have enough view range, even after the FH-18B2 fired. Krilla dead, one shotted. M41 HMC, he needs one more shot. Yep, and yet another one shot. Are you in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen, or not? Did you expect anything like this out from this battle, or not? Let me know in the comments down below. This definitely has to be one of the weirdest, ridiculous and I don't know what type of artillery battles I have ever seen in this game. 17 HP left. I do not know how he was able to get away from that wheel vehicle uh, while three artilleries were aiming at him. He was spotted sitting. Standing still, but here we are, from 1 versus 6, officially once again, we have to be 100% correct with all the details. And down to 1 versus 1, M44, which is, I, as I said, I think the best tier 6 artillery, if I'm not mistaken, I do not know too many things about artilleries, just correct me if I'm wrong, was that M44, which was stupidly annoying as well. But it doesn't matter, Leffe, 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 Leffe can still outspot M44 and can deal damage without getting spotted if he's going to play his cards right. Let's fast forward a bit because you can see we have still, we have 5 minutes to go and uh, see the A77 decided to wait it out. Maybe M44 is also feeling aggressive, as aggressive as um, M41 and Gorilla did before. Waiting, waiting, nothing happens, and after some time, he actually decided to start moving towards the enemy base. 
because I guess he figured out um, M44 is not interested. Now he's using this railroad quite nicely, I have to say, uh, because he knows he can easily outspot M44 and while he's standing up on the railroads, he might be able to spot him from the left side, from the right side, and uh, going for the gap. 2 minutes 40 seconds left, if he makes it into the capture zone, uh, he should be able to fully cap it, still. And here is uh, some time left, slowly moving in towards the capture zone. No idea where that M44 is. But this guy is not AFK, as you can see, M44 has one kill, so this guy has been doing some shooting in this battle, at least. Maybe driving into this bush, starting to capture right now. Let's see. Oh yes, we started capping. And we got spotted. What does that mean? M44 has to be on the right side and yes, here it is. He took the shot, he got spotted. And you know what guys, for the end of the episode, let's add a little blind kill to the list of ridiculous things happening in this battle. Featuring the FH-18B2 played by CZA-77. This was the battle, a victory. A tanker, of course, for counter battery fire in the battle, destroy all enemy SPGs, at least two, some other ribbons, battle bodies, stuff like that. Starks medal, while driving an SPG, destroy at least two enemy vehicles and receive at least two hits, enemy hits that cause damage or are blocked by armor. Is the medal on the left side. Kolobanov's medal for winning the battle uh, while standing versus at least one versus five. But it was 1 vs 6 once again, high caliber and top gun. <laughs> 1855 damage done, 7 kills, close to 1200 base experience. 21 shots fired, some hits, some penetrations, he made some credits profit. Ladies and gentlemen, this was <laughs> one of the most ridiculous artilleries in this game, in one of the most ridiculous battles with artilleries in this game. I hope you are entertained, beautiful people. If you are, thumbs up button is for that. If you didn't enjoy today's episode, thumbs down button is for that. Subscribe for more action, stay notified, hit that bell button. I catch you next time with something else. Stay awesome, take care and bye.